So this is question number one from contest four, senior division for um, the ACSL 2012 to 2013 season. And it's asking us for the internal path length for North Carolina. So let's get started by drawing a binary search tree for this. So we're starting off with N and then our next letter is O, which comes right after N. So we're going to draw a right branch and then R, which comes after both N and O. So we're going to make another branch to the right. Then we have T, which comes after N, O, and R. So that's going to be another branch to the right. Then we have H, which comes right before N. So we're going to make a branch to the left. And then we have C, which comes before both N and H. So we're going to make it go to the left again. And A, which of course precedes all other letters. Then we have R. Okay, so starting here, we see that R is after N and after O, but it's the same letter as this other R. So we're just going to put it there. And then we have O, which also comes after N and is the same letter as O. So there you go. And then we have L, which is here. So L comes before N, but after H. So if it comes after H, then we'll have to put it to the right of H. Then we have I, which comes before N, but it comes after H, and it's before L. So if it's before L, then we put it to the left of L. And then N, which is the same letter as N, so we go to the left, and it's after H, so we go to the right, and it's after L, so we go to the right again. And finally, we have A, which comes before everything else, and it's the same letter as this A over here. So to get the internal path length, we'll have to divide these into their separate levels. So this N is at the topmost level, and then the H and O come next. Then I see C, L, O, and R. And then there's A, I, N, R, and T. And then A is all by itself down at the bottom. So then we're going to label each of these levels and we're going to start with zero like we like how we start in arrays. So this next one is going to be one, then two, then three and four. And then to get the internal path length, you're going to multiply each of these numbers by how many letters are in each row. So there's one letter in this row, so we have 0 times 1, which is 0. Then we have 1 times 2, because of the H and O, so 1 times 2 is 2. Then we have 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4. So 2 times 4 is 8. Then we have 3 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 3 times 5 is 15. And last of all, we have 4 times 1, which is just 4. So now we can add all of these up, and we should get... So 8 plus 2 is 10, plus 15 is 25, plus 4 is 29, and that's the answer.